Okay, we're recording. Welcome, guys. So you know who I am. I'm Heather Chauvin, and we're inside the Mamas in Control Village right now. This is kind of like a lunch and learn. I have my lunch here with me, um, eating sweet potatoes, chicken, and uh, what is this? Kale. Yummy. Not that yummy. So I have six months left to live. I'm not dying. I just wanted to question that statement. I have six months left to live. This is a conversation I was having with a woman at the hair salon this morning and got a nice blowout. Today is my birthday, so I didn't want to wash and blow dry my own hair. I thought I would treat myself. And she was talking about her desire to want to volunteer and her desire to want to travel the world. And she's married. They don't have children yet. Um, or they may not have children at all. And her husband has a chronic illness. And, you know, that was a huge wake up call for them. And so she goes, yeah, I just want to, I'm going to travel. I want to make a difference. I want to um, do all these things. And I said, well, what's stopping you? She's like, oh, I just can't get the time off work. I can't do this. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. And so I said to her, what if you had six months left to live? And I said, if you had six months left to live, would you do it? Would you go for it? She said, hundred percent, absolutely. And so I said, well, pretend you're dying. And she's like, wow, Heather, you're pretty morbid. And I said, yes, I am. And that's what makes me, me and unique. Um, but that's what I tell myself. I have six months left to live. When I am about to make a decision in anything, it could be a parenting decision, it could be business related, work related, marriage, my health, finances, you know, making investments. Um, I always ask myself, if you had six months left to live, would you do this? Would you make it work? Would you put on your how can I hat and make anything possible? And if my gut answer is yes, then I do it, even if I'm terrified, even if I'm scared. So that's my little kick in the pants for you today of what are you holding yourself back? from not doing in your life? Do you want to be on your deathbed whenever that is? And I know a lot of us don't want to think about that. But at the end of your lifetime, do you want to look back and say, I have regrets and I really regret that I didn't do this or that I treated my children this way or that I didn't try to strengthen my marriage or, you know, why was I so afraid to like, live abundantly? Why was I so afraid to not go for it in my business? Why was I so afraid? Why was I holding myself back and playing small? Why? Why? I believe we're destined for greatness. And in order to do great things, we have to take great risks and also um, live courageously. And in order to do that, we have to take a stand for what we want and desire in our own life. And that comes from an internal strength of belief. So um, what are you holding yourself back from? What do you say, oh, one day, one day, one day, when the time is easier, when I have more money, when the kids are older, thank you. When the kids are older, um, I'll do this. When the season changes, I'll do that. When the kids are out of school, when the kids are in school, when my husband's business slows down, when my health improves, like what are you using as an excuse? Because I guarantee you, if you went to the doctors and they told you you have six months left to live, your lifestyle would be completely different. Um, and that's exactly what happened for me. So today is March 1st, 2018. We are accepting applications for the Mom is in Control Mastery Program until uh, tonight at midnight. So if you are listening to this, I want you to head on over to momisincontrol.com forward slash mastery. If you've been sitting on the fence, fill out the application. Um, if you have questions, post below inside the private Facebook group. You might be listening to this on the podcast because I'm going to be um, posting this on the podcast later today. Um, so March 1st, that is the end all be all of the application. So let me see if there's any questions below. Um, and I'm going to actually talk a little bit more about the mastery program. Um, and I'm going to actually, I might do a screen share for you guys so that I can talk about the program. If you go on to, I'm going to show you right here. If you go onto the mastery website, 
So you're going to go to momisincontrol.com forward slash mastery at the top there. You're going to see at the top where it says book now. You're going to click on it and there's going to be an application. It's not showing up here because it's not um, logging. It's not um, downloading. So the app, there it is, the application here, you're going to fill that out. Once you fill out the application, I will personally be reading and responding to your application. Nobody else looks at your application, just me. And I'm going to, I'm going to listen. I want to know what is your big vision? What do you want to create in your life? How do you want to feel in your relationships with your children? How do you want to feel if you have a spouse? You don't have to have children, by the way, to go through this program. I, there's a few uh, women inside the group that don't have children. What's your big vision? For yourself, your health, your finances, your time, your money, your energy, um, your career. This is we're looking at the whole spectrum. You don't have to want to change everything. It could just be one pain point. But I want to know what your big vision is. And after, actually, let me go back to that um, application. After you tell me your big vision, I want to know what do you believe is stopping you or slowing you down? I want to know about your personal experience with uh, personal development therapy, coaching, fitness, what? Tell me everything. And what um, kind of support are you seeking? And then there's a few more questions and all you have to do is hit submit. Now let's talk about the program. If you go to the bottom of the page, so momisincontrol.com forward slash mastery, you're going to see some video testimonials here. There's more on my actual website as well. If you just go to heatherchauvin.com, it says rave reviews. You can see more. My dog, what are you doing? He's just biting the table, sitting right next to me, deciding to bite the table. You're worse than a child. Um, now he feels bad. Now he wants my love. So you can check out the rave reviews on my website, heatherchauvin.com, or go to the Mastery website, and um, there's some on that page as well. Motherhood is hard, guys. You know this. Every single day when I'm talking to you and you're telling me, Heather, how do I balance? How do I balance feeling successful as a mother? How do I balance my health? How do I balance my work? How do I balance all these other aspects of my being and of my life? And there is a way to do this. If you're familiar with my work, if you've been following me on the podcast, you know that I talk a lot about my story, my health crisis that I had four years ago, which was um, I almost died. I had, well, I was diagnosed with a stage four cancer and everything is um, good now. But the thing about that was I wasn't, um, I wasn't taking care of myself. And I don't like to say that I could have avoided this or that it would have never happened. But I can tell you right now that I felt sick for a really long time. And I used the excuse that I didn't have time for myself. So I literally kept putting myself at the bottom um, of my to-do list. And then I would typically not get to the bottom of the to-do list and wouldn't do anything for myself from literally opening my eyes in the morning to a child screaming at me to, you know, always have this severe anxiety um, and you know, this lingering depression and chronic fatigue hovering over me as I'm trying to build my business and raise my children and do everything. And then as I'm seeking support online, and I did have mentors at the time that were just very business focused, um, or one area focused of my life. Um, you know, it was like hustle, hustle, like go for it, go for it. And it wasn't sustainable. And I wasn't paying it. I wasn't taking back control of my health. I wasn't paying attention to what I needed and desired in my life. So if you guys are following along um, inside the village, you know uh, you can visually see this. But if not, and you're listening on the podcast, I'm just going to reiterate what I'm doing so that um, that you uh, you know what I'm doing. So the Mom is in Control Mastery program, if you um, honestly have been interested in coaching with me in any capacity, and you're like, I don't know if this exact program is for me, because some people are like, no, I don't want to do this type of program. Maybe I just want Heather one-on-one -on -one, um, or something else. The least you can do is fill out the application, because then you and I can start a conversation about the best next step for you and where your life takes you. I would rather much see you fill out the application and take a step forward to seek support than not at all and thinking this won't work for me. Me because I have a lot of colleagues as well. And um, I'm totally happy to do an introduction as well if I am not a right fit for you. There's a specific type of woman that I work with. And if I can't be of service to you, uh, I will definitely, definitely give you a referral because I 
I'm just not a fan of uh, working with people that aren't in alignment with how I can be of service, but I don't want to see you suffer. And I don't want you to carry this weight around you of like, I can do this all myself. I seek support all the time. This has been a huge mindset shift for me um, in my business, in my work, definitely in my health, in my relationships. I work with people around um, parenting and you know, developing these deep connections with ourselves and our children. And I still seek support for parenting. Why do I do this? Because we're too close, right? Our lives are too close to us. So it's like having, I don't have stickers in front of me. Well, I probably do because my kids have their craft stuff on the table. But imagine, you know, I have a pen here. Imagine I drew a dot on my, on the tip of my nose. I'm not going to be able to see it right? So having an outsider be able to look at me, be able to look at my life, be able to look at where I want to go, they can best help me support myself. And that's exactly what I can do for you as well. So the Mom is in Control Mastery Program will show you that the life you crave is possible. I'm going to help you um, through the through the training, through the modules that you get immediate access to once you go through the interview process with me to make sure it's a good fit. As soon as you register, you gain immediate access to the training. You can start that. You also join in. We have a private Facebook group community. You guys haven't seen this Facebook group. It's only for people who are registered for the program. It's active. It's alive. It's vibrant. Um, and these women are game-changing women. I actually pinch myself all the time because imagine ambitious go-getters who are on the same path and you know they're forward-thinking. They think outside of the box. They have so many resources, um, connections. Um, you know, just it, like it just blows my mind the relationships that are built. How you know they're masterminding with each other and making things happen. So through this process, you're going to gain a deeper and calmer connection with your child. And even if you feel like it's too late, so it doesn't matter if your child is an infant or if your child is 20 years old, 30 years old, you can still um, improve that relationship. And through this process, I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to be able to create space in your life to breathe, even if right now you're currently working crazy hours and you're driving a van full of kids around. You're going to be able to find that space for yourself. You're going to learn how to cultivate joy and ease in every day. Um, even if your partner isn't into personal development, this is a big one. I get this question all the time of, you know, my husband isn't into this or we don't parent on the same page. How can I, right? How can I um, create how can I get him to do anything? And my answer is always, you can't get anybody to change. You can't get anybody to do anything. But by you becoming the leader, excuse me, <coughs> you becoming the leader in your life, by that you're going to become the role model and they're going to be watching you. So when anytime I'm trying to control anybody externally, in my life, it's because I feel in con I feel out of control in my own being, and that's exactly where I need to start first. Um, what else do I want to tell you? So this program, I'm going to be honest, it's not for everybody, and I will usually be able to tell through your application process, and I'll just send you an email with clarifying questions, um, or I'll say, you know, go do this first because I'm not going to be of service to you, or definitely this level of investment is not going to um, is not going to be of service to you. So this program is not for you if you're looking for a quick fix. If you're looking for me to be your uh, superhero, your god, your anything. Um, I'm here to be your coach. I'm here to you think about like an Olympic athlete. They practice, they train. The coach is there to push them to become a better version of themselves, to give them um, like simple tools and strategies and tactics and create a plan and hold them accountable. That's exactly what I'm doing for you. So you are the athlete and I am just the coach. Um, this program is for you. If you want to make a bigger impact in the world and you want um, to do this beyond parenting, so you have this ache inside of you and you're like, not this, like there's definitely more to life. I know you love your children. I know you want the best for them. Um, but there's something deeper inside of you that is like begging to come to life. I'm going to show you how to get clarity on what exactly that is and how to make it come to life. You could probably hear my dog in the background. 
Briar, do you want to let him out? Looks like he's got to go to the bathroom. So this program is for you. If you want to learn how to manage your big emotions, you want to become less reactive. Um, I would not be surprised within the first month if this is a goal of yours to stop yelling at your children. I hear this all the time in the group. They're like, I don't know what's happening to me, Heather. I'm implementing what you're talking about. I'm following through. I'm asking for help. Uh, and I don't remember the last time I yelled. Progress, not perfection. Uh, we all slip up at times. But if you're thinking to yourself, this is not how I want my children to remember me. I don't want them to be them to remember me as angry and resentful and bitter. Um, I want them to remember me as calm, connected, and happy, and you know, always having my back. This is possible for you in the program. What else do we got here? Um, community. I've already talked about that. Authentic connections. Yes, you're going to learn more about yourself. Um, you want to. You just want to feel alive. You want to feel fun. You want to feel light. This is not a program where you need to quit your job and you know move, pick up everybody and move to Bali. If that's a goal of yours, then go for it. Um, but what this is is showing you how to you know cultivate the reality that you have right now that's more in alignment with who you want to be and how you want to feel. So some of the, and you can find all this information that I'm talking about on um, the webpage. So go to momisincontrol.com forward slash mastery. If that's too complicated for you, then go to my website, heatherchauvin.com. And where it says work with me page, there's a, um, a link there. Click on that and it talks about the program. So there's kind of four components. Um, I actually go way deeper into these components inside the program because I'm always giving bonus material um, and listening to you guys and going, what do you need from me? So I'll talk about the structure in a second, but the four main learning components of this program are conscious parenting, creating ease and flow in your life, energetic time management, and emotional intelligence mastery. So conscious parenting, a lot of people know what this is. This is where you're consciously parenting. In this phase, um, while you're learning this, a lot of times we're unlearning how we were parented. We're, we're not the authoritarian anymore. It's not about, you know, being like, I, I'm bigger than my children. And um, I, it's, what's that saying? Children, uh, Bri, what's that saying? Children have a, be seen and not heard. Children should be seen and not heard. It's not about that. It's about how can I create a connection with my child? How can I feel respected by my child and still respect my child at the same time? So this is um, counterintuitive for a lot of people when they are pu punishing their children, when there's consequences. And I don't even punish my children. It's, it's a natural consequence. So there's huge mindset shifts that happen here. And this creates the connection and the deeper um, level of relationship that you desire with your children. Creating ease and flow. Oh my gosh. If you've been listening to the podcast this whole year, I've dedicated to um, this is easy, right? I'm in the process of writing a book. I'm running a multi six figure business. I have three children, two crazy dogs. Um, I'm married. My health is my number one priority. Um, you know, all the aspects of your being. And it's, you know, I'm a very real person living a normal, practical life. And we like to travel, we like to be adventurous. Um, but I also want to make sure that I'm living sustainably, that I'm not burning myself out, that, um, you know, we're financially prepared for the future and we're not overspending, you know, it's progress, not perfection. Um, and we're teaching our children these skills along the way. And I want this to feel easy. So this doesn't mean it's going to be uncomfortable. Just like if you're going to the gym and you're working out really hard um, and you have some reps, right? And so you're going to be sore the next day. Your muscles are being stretched. So you're going to be stretched in this program, but I'm going to show you how to do it in an easy, sustainable way. So it's temporary discomfort for long-term sustainability. Energetic time management is something I don't see a lot of people um, teaching. This is where I'm going to practically show you how to set up your day, your week, your month um, in alignment with how you want to feel. So no longer are you managing your time, you're managing your energy because time is like not human. You are 
um, a human being having this experience. You're actually a soul and a body having this human experience. You're not here like to just manage some time. Like you have emotions, you have needs, you have wants. So let's like take you as a body of energy and flip around how you manage your time. And so I'm going to show you and teach you step by step on how to do that. Emotional intelligence mastery. How are you supposed to manage your anxiety, your fear, your overwhelm? And then what happens when your child or your spouse or your colleagues, your employees, your friends, your parents present the exact same emotion to you? And you're like, oh my God, I don't know how to be in a room with these people. I'm going to show you how to manage that energy um, and feel really strong emotionally because we take it for granted. And um, it's really actually quite devastating that, you know, as a, as a culture and society, we're just starting to recognize the importance of mental health um, and destigmatize it. Um, and, you know, everyone wants to work out because they can have a nice ass and look great on the beach. But what about, you can have a nice ass and look great on the beach, but yet you have, you know, body, you're like, oh my God, I'm, I hate myself. I look like crap. I feel unsuccessful. A lot of us are beating ourselves up in the head and this up in the head. A lot of us are beating ourselves up in our mind um, because of the stories that we're telling ourselves. And so I'm here to show you how to rewrite that story in your mind and take action in the direction that you want. And you're gonna see the structure of the program. Um, I'm gonna invite you to go to the webpage to check that out because that's really not the important aspect of this program. Like everyone has structure. I, you know, structure, I've been running this program for multiple years and, um, you know, it's, it's tested that it works. It's a rinse and repeat cycle. Um, but the beauty of this is I'm always watching, you know, human behavior and going, how can I improve? How can I make this program better? Um, and the beauty of that is the structure is very well in place. It's very well organized um, so that I can be present for you. So at the end of it, at the end of this page, you'll see the testimonials and I'm just going to stop share for a second, but I think we'll stop sharing now. Yeah. So the point is this is an individualized program. So you get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. A lot of group programs out there is just group. So you're paying for this program, you're buying into the curriculum and you might get, you know, group access. There might be a private Facebook group and it's go at your own pace, but there's no accountability. And you might have an accountability partner in the group, but you have to have a lot of self um, discipline to be able to do that. The beauty of this program is you and I, at minimum, get on the phone every other week. If you need additional support, um, I'm there to try to fit you into my calendar and make it happen. But you also have Voxer access to me. We use an app where you can communicate with me in between our calls. You can email me. And so sometimes people are sending me like a business plan or um, a workshop outline. Um, some people are sending me their calendars and saying, you know, does this look okay? How can I improve on my, on my calendar to get more done? Um, some people are sending me, you know, their chore list for their kids or, you know, lesson plans that, you know, they're trying to co-create with the, their children's teachers. So I'm, I'm literally here to not only help you create that vision for your life, but to hold you step-by-step step through the process. Um, there's so much more that I could go on to tell you. Um, I could talk to you about, you know, the importance of, you know, why you need this and, um, you know, what if your husband says no and he doesn't want to invest and how's it going to benefit him? And I actually don't even want to get into all of that bullshit because, um, a lot of that is just excuses and you'll see that as soon as you start to take a stand for your life and the life that you want to be living and you fill out the application and you get on the phone with me and you go through this process, the coaching has already began because your, your money stuff might be triggered or your marriage stuff might be triggered or, you know, your excuses might be triggered. Um, a lot of people use parenting as a scapegoat as well as like, oh, I can't because my kids or I can't because of, you know, the money that I invest in this and this and this and realizing that a lot of this are excuses and it's, it's sabotage in its best form that if I can put this thing up in front of me from stopping me to pursue my dreams, then I can play small and then I can stay stuck. So circling back to the beginning of this conversation, which was you have six months left to live, or I have six months left to live. How would you be living your life differently?
And for those of you who are already inside the program and you're like, yes, 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 I understand where Heather's coming from. A lot of you have had similar life experiences where maybe it's you who has had a near death experience or something that just knocked you off your feet, um, or you've had somebody in your life. But for a lot of us who show up and go, um, I get it. Life is short. I spend way too much time and money and energy on crap that doesn't matter. What the mastery program is teaching you is to focus on priorities. What matters to you? And so for a lot of people, they're actually saving money because they're done buying bullshit um, or, you know, giving their, giving their, children way too much out of the sense of guilt instead of looking at the guilt and sitting with the guilt and going, where is this coming from? And how can I change this story within me? So I'm going to be quiet now. I could go on and on and on and on. But the only, I guess, call to action that I'm going to ask from you is even if you think this program isn't a right fit um, or you're terrified and you're scared, All I ask is that you take the next step towards becoming, towards becoming a different version of yourself. And I'm just inviting you to fill out the application. That's all you need to do. Whether we get on the phone, whether you join the program or not, just fill out the application. Go to momisincontrol.com forward slash mastery. Um, You can indicate directly on the form of like, I'm not interested in the program, um, but actually these questions and going through this application process really helped me get clarity. If that's all you needed from me today, then, then I invite you to take that step. Your life is possible. The number one thing that anybody needs to feel successful in their life and to achieve the results and the desire that they have um, in their life, like I said, whether it's in parenting, relationships, money, time, energy, is belief and trust. If you believe, even if it's not 100%, but you have 10% belief of like, I can actually do what I want to do. Yes, I think it's crazy because nobody else around me is doing it. Um, but I'm going to go for it, then I will hold the rest. I will hold the other 90% for you. I will hold the bigger vision for you. Um, And you trust, trust me, trust the process, trust the universe, trust life, that you are exactly where you need to be. You found me for a reason. You're listening to the podcast or you're inside this mastery Facebook, not mastery group, you're inside um, the Facebook group uh, for a reason. Everything got you to this moment, this point of where you needed to be in your life to get to the next step. The only person that's getting in your way is you. It will be uncomfortable. There will be moments where you want to punch me in the face and moments where you want to give up and run and hide, but I won't let you do that. Um, The only thing that I ask from people is you have to be willing to show up and ask for help. If you're expecting me to change your life, I can't do that for you. But if you're willing to co-create this life with me and my team and my tribe behind me, then this program is for you. So momisincontrol.com forward slash mastery. It's March 1st. It's also my birthday. And tonight at midnight is your final, final opportunity to fill out the application for this round. I do not take on more people than I can handle. So um, we only have minimal spots left. And I truly mean that. I don't know when I will be opening applications up again. It may be um, in the spring, most likely four or five months. I have no freaking clue. All I know is that there's space in there now. And um, your soul is aching for more. And I'm literally saying, I can help you. So fill out that application, momisincontrol.com forward slash mastery. And I'm just going to hop on over to Facebook to check really quickly to see if there's any questions. Um, Yes, I have been so interested in joining for the last year. Adrienne, why, why have you not filled out the application? Fill it out, girl. Interest. I always say hope isn't a strategy, right? You have six months, six months left to live. I'm just interested. I'm interested in this. I'm interested in that. I'm interested. 
take action, ladies. I don't care what it is in your life. Stop being fucking interested and be committed. Just do it because nothing happens unless you take action. And this is what this program is all about. It's action oriented. Um, that's it. Action, action, action. There's a lot of theory out there. There's spiritual entertainment. People read the books, they go to the workshops, but they don't follow through. I am here to say, let's go. Let's follow through. I'm holding your hand. Let's make shit happen. This is all action oriented. Every module, every training program that you do through the program is teaching you how to create more ease in your life. So when people say, oh, the money, the time, the energy, that's not what's really holding you back. What's really holding you back is the fear, fear of failure and sometimes fear of success. Oh shit. What if I actually get what I want, right? Ooh, it's uncomfortable. All right, guys, have a good day. I look forward to reading your applications and we'll talk soon. Bye.